everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck, and I am your host. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the episode, hit that like button too. Give us a big thumbs up, and I'm going to thank you all in advance. But on this episode, we are tasting and reviewing a beer from Four Peaks Brewing, and they are located in Tempe, Arizona. And it's probably pretty hot right there. This time of year, it's probably about 110. But anyways... Well, I'm not there, so it can be as hot as it wants. But what's the beer we're tasting? Well, from Four Peaks, this is their Hop Not IPA. And not the Hop Not, the Hop Not, the K-N-O-T, not the N-O-T. But anyways, what is the Hop Not? Well, the Hop Not, it says on the can, this is supposedly a West Coast-style IPA. Hmm? This beer clocks in at 6.7% ABV which I think is a little high. I think this beer should maybe be in the realm between like 6.1 to 6.3, right around there. But hey, I didn't make it. And it's got a pretty average IBU of 47, and it is made with five different types of hops. And those hops are Bravo, Cascade, Glacier, Liberty, and Simcoe. Anyways, with all that, let's pop the top on this bad boy and uh, let's have some fun. Here, oh, the hop cannot. Boom, boom, one, two, cannot open it. One, two, boom, boom. Uh-oh, oops, little smoke, little smoke and some splash from the hop cannot. No, the hop not, not the hop cannot. Let's get a little cannot pour, whatever that means. Ah, uh, that should do it. I think that should do it. Ooh, I got some little aromas right there. Color-wise, oh, we're not seeing through that one. Now, it's not a hazy. Uh, I just can't see through it. It is a murky orange-ish with a slight hint of, uh, you know, lemony yellow around the rim there. We got about one finger veil of pure white foam carbonation on top. But uh, let's give this hop canada a swirl and uh, let's give it a nose. Here we go. What do we got? Nose number one. We got some hay. Hey, hey, hey. Some grassy notes. Some slight citrus, very slight citrus, but we're also getting... There's a there's a, definitely a mustiness coming through, and one more. A little bit of earthiness, too. Uh, very odd here, very odd. I mean, so far the aromas are coming through a little weak, just a little weak, but... Uh... Let's see how they do on the palate. I'm swirling and swirling and swirling away. And let's get this a sippy sip. Hop cannot. Here we go. Prost! Hop not. It's sin. Well, first and foremost, medium bodied beer. I think I got a mustache too on this one. Hmm, hmm. Not that much foam, but it feels like I had a mustache. Anyways, uh, let me take another sip and let's get going on those flavors. Okay, well, number one, slight grapefruit. Some slight citrus and some slight grapefruit. Not a lot, some slight citrus, slight grapefruit. We also got that haze coming through a little bit. We're getting some of those, uh, some doughy notes coming through, but also it's kind of finishing out. I mean, there's a slight, slight, slight hint of some pine sap on the back end, but it's very musty as well uh, on the palate. It's very musty. Hmm. And I'm also going to point out, it's kind of a lingering bitter aftertaste on this one too. Um, this is an odd one. I, I admit, this is an odd one. I mean, there's a lot of hops in here. But I think the balance is really off. I mean, the, uh, the balance on the nose, what little aromas you are getting is just very, it seems odd and it's off. And the flavor palette is very odd. I, I don't know. It's like everything seems really mushed together on this. Uh, not too sure on this beer. Uh, I'm going to give this one more sip, though. Yeah, really, it hasn't really opened up. I mean, honestly, it just... It seems just like a mediocre attempt at an IPA, and I know there's some debate between what a West Coast and an East Coast IPA should taste like, but this, 
I don't know. I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't label this as a West Coast IPA. I just don't know. It just seems like a generic IPA. Um, that's just needs some tweaking. I just don't think this is done very well. On the pint meter, I'm honestly I'm only gonna give this mm, I'm only gonna give this a five. Middle of the road five. Um, I think it's got some good ideas and it's using some good hops. It needs some tweaking though. I'm just, yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Um, and I said, I really don't like that lingering bitter aftertaste. But um, I mean, for starters, I think the ABV, like I said, should be brought down. But anyways, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to take one more quick sip and wrap this up. And on that note, you can always catch me at the websites, which are www.pubsdevapinton.com and the blog, which is www.pubsdevapinton.blogspot.com. And I want to thank you all for joining in. And with that, we'll see you on the next episode. Ray, so raise that pint. Cheers, prost, and enjoy.